uh, Division II post-game press conference. A uh, couple of housekeeping rules. Again, we'll have an opening statement from head coach Brandon Moore of Colorado Mines. Uh, then we will open up the questions to the floor. We'd appreciate that initially you asked your questions just of our two student athletes that are here. Once we're through asking questions with the student athletes, we will dismiss them to go back to the locker room, and then you can direct your questions to Coach Moore. Joining us uh, for today's press conference, again, Head Coach Brandon Moore of Colorado Mines. We are also joined by uh, wide receiver number seven, Tristan Smith, and also by, uh, to double check, quarterback John Matocha. And again, we again appreciate you calling out. Coach Smith, again, I know it's always tough being on the, on the losing side of a game like this. Again, it's a tough run through a tournament, and somebody has to be on the wrong side of it. One comment I'd like to address, though, too. You had a great turnout. We had an attendance of 6,333 for today's game here in McKinney. And I think it's safe to say the majority of those fans were representing Colorado School of Mines. Y'all had a great send-off off the field after the game. So again, coach, if you could address that and also your comments about today's game. Yeah. Uh, just to start, I just want to thank our fans and our our alum and our students uh, for coming all the way down here and, and supporting us. Uh, we had a, a great showing, um, and it was just a tremendous opportunity and a tremendous um, environment that that they uh, provided us. So I just want to make sure I thank all those those guys. I want to thank my seniors who. Um, who've poured so much into the program and who've been so influential to, to our underclassmen and have done so much about um, in regards to just building the program and putting us um, where we are tonight, where we are right now. Uh, and my boys, my team, um, never quit, never give up. Those guys, they're warriors, and I appreciate every single last one of them uh, for what they do every day for the sacrifices they make um, and for how difficult uh, of a position they put in football. All right. Thank you, Coach. We'll hear more <clears throat> questions from Coach. At this time, uh, media, if you'd again like to be recognized, we'll ask for questions of uh, both Tristan and John. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Ferris is a um, phenomenal team, phenomenal defense, some great players. Um, but offensively, I think that we just need to execute a little bit better. Um, I think there are opportunities for us to take advantage of some mistakes and and uh, play our game. And I think that we just came out a little flat, um, tried to recover there to the end. And I think we should play uh, our brand of minds football. And I think there's a lot of things we can correct on our side. But, um If you wouldn't mind, if, again, if you will address the players at this point, and we will, okay. uh, our ground rules again. Sorry, uh, that, that's okay, that. uh, because we're going to dismiss we're going to dismiss the players to the locker room as, as quickly as we can. So. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, everyone's pretty upset. Um, but my, I think my message is: there's a lot to be thankful for today. Um, just this entire experience. Obviously, it's not the way we wanted it to end, but uh, God has a plan for all of us, and, and really it's just about respecting and honoring those seniors, telling them thank you, telling them thank you for all the time and effort and commitment they put into the team. Thank you to the coaches for doing a phenomenal job, I and mean, there's no way you make the national champion and not have a coaching staff that backs you up. So I think just giving thanks, even though we lost, and, and knowing that we are blessed to be here and blessed to have these guys to my right and to my left, and Send him off the right way. Tristan, how was the, the playoff run? It seemed different this year than last year. Maybe a step further. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think last year was a bit of a surprise to make it that far. Obviously, we were enjoying the season and how everything was rolling, but this year I just think the confidence coming into it. And from the beginning of the season, believe has been the word this whole time. Believe that we're going to get to this point. And... Um, the whole team was just bought in, and that was something that we held on to this entire year. We said national championship, I felt like, every single day, and this was a goal that we were really striving for, and 
the expectation was conference champs and regional champs, and this was the goal that we that we really wanted. And so, um, just grateful to be here. And I mean, yeah, just the confidence going into this this season has really brought us this far. And um, I know they'll be back. Absolutely. Um, it's been a blessing for me to be able to play 30 minutes from home, just be able to have the support from my family and uh, previous coaches and players and friends. And um, this past five years have just been the most fun of my life. And I'm forever grateful for everything that Minds has brought me, both on the field, off the field, academics, with these relationships. And um, I'm just so proud of this team and so grateful for the support that we have at Colorado School of Minds. And I know they're going the right direction. All right, any further questions for our student athletes? Yeah, I mean, it's it's amazing. Um, I talked about this before, and the and Tristan touched on it earlier about the support that we have at Mines. Um, it's tough a academically, but um, the athletic department at the Colorado School of Mines is amazing. Um, we band together um, from, from every sport, basketball, softball, baseball. Um, we all are always supporting each other um, and attending each other's games. And, and obviously, you saw the show today. It was phenomenal. Um, so it's really cool to see that. And then the alumni, we have one of the best alumni networks in the world. Um, they're always supporting us. I mean, even um, our last semifinal games and throughout the entire playoffs, we've had a, an amazing show out, and we're extremely thankful for them. And I think that they're a big reason why we're here, and we hope that uh, next year we can continue to get that support and we'll win it all for them and make them proud. All right, guys, appreciate it. John, welcome back to Texas. And y'all you know, got a good contention of Texans on your squad, so appreciate it. And, again, congratulations on your showing throughout this, this tournament. Guys, we'll let y'all head back to the locker room. And, uh, again, thank you and congratulations on a great season. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> All, right, yeah. All right, up next, you can now ask your questions of Coach Moore. And we'll go ahead and recognize if you would like to go ahead and lead us off. Well, obviously, the players were somber. Um, it was sad. Um, we got to send a lot of these guys away, and we got to send them away with the loss being their last game, which is difficult for any of them. Um, our, our players are extremely close. It's one of the things that makes us a good team. Um, and, you know, we just – it's just one of those things where uh, you search for the right words to, to say um, given the circumstances and given the situation. And I don't think there's anything that will that'll make them feel good about it, but uh, – they understand that we're they're they're always a part of the family. Um, we will always love them. We'll always cherish our memories and, and the opportunities that we we had together. Uh, so the ones that are still here, uh, is there anything to take away from the fact that you guys just keep building year after year after year? I mean, last year the semifinals, this year the championships. Is there anything to kind of build off of that and to think that next year you can only get past that and maybe win the thing? Oh, well, that's been the, that's been the process the last six years. Is I mean, we've we've inched a, a few steps further every year. Um, we came up short this year, at, but um, we're excited for the future, and and we fully expect to come out and win next year. Um, well, learning every day. Uh, I think the number one thing I learned is, is the, you know, I've got to find a way for the moment not to be too big for my boys. Um, because I think that's, a, that's where we stumble. We stumble when we're, we, we are in unfamiliar territory. Um, and we, we limped out in this game today, and we made a bunch of mistakes that, that really hurt us. And congratulate Ferris. They're an excellent team. Um, they capitalized on on every mistake that we made. Uh, every we, we we gave them a lot, and they took um, took advantage of those opportunities. Did the moment ever seem too big for you guys today? 
I don't know if I'd, I don't know if I'd phrase it or frame it that way, that the moment was too big. I think that maybe the stage um, maybe gave us some big eyes at moments. Uh, but no, I don't think the moment was too big. Any further questions for Coach Moore? All right, Coach Moore, again, we appreciate you. Again, and we know the, the loss stings right now, but again, congratulations on a great season, and maybe we'll see you next week here, next year here in McKinney. Thank you. We're, we're proud of the season we had and, and the support that we have, so we'll be back. All Thank right. you all. Thank you.